Hello everyone, this is Sean with Vanilla PC Strategy and welcome to my five tips for successful surgery in RimWorld. Have you lost precious bionics or had pawns die at the hands of your most experienced doctors? No matter what you do, it seems like you're rolling the dice with surgery. This is frustrating and seems arbitrary. With only a modest doctor and no hospital, these five tips can guarantee success. All values in this video are from Alpha 16 on Extreme Difficulty. It's important to choose your most skilled doctor. Here we can see that Zippy, Wanderer, and Norberto have skills of 9 or 10, while Julian is at 14. You can manually instruct your surgeons by right-clicking and assigning them to surgery, or if you want to do multiple surgeries, turn off all but your best doctor. Click the Info button on the Pawn Status tab. At the bottom of the Stats tab, you'll find the Surgery Success Chance. Here we see that Julian has a 96% base success chance. Click on this line, and we can see his medical skill of 14 gives a 96% chance alone. Consciousness, sight, and manipulation have effects on this overall rate. Since they're all at 100% chance for Julian, there is no change. It is important to reserve your best medicine for surgery, especially surgery involving expensive bionics which are lost in the case of failure. Each medicine type has a dramatic effect on your doctor's skill, and it's important to consider these modifiers. Herbal medicine has a 40% potency effect, which would provide a 38% success chance for Julian. Meanwhile, standard medicine has a 70% potency effect, which would provide Julian a 67% success chance in his surgery. Glitter World medicine has a 160% potency effect, which would give Julian a 153% chance success rate, so this will always succeed. As a matter of fact, any pawn with greater than 63% base chance will succeed using Glitter World medicine, assuming there are no other problems. Glitter World Medicine can't be manufactured, but is often carried by exotic goods traders, and it's a good idea to purchase it whenever you get the chance. Let's see how the doctor's mental state can also affect their surgery success chance rate. Our pawn Christian is stoned on smoke leaf. Christian isn't a very good doctor with a medical skill of only 5. Checking his success rate, we see it is only 49%. A level 5 doctor inherently has a 70% success rate. Normally, this, even this low-level doctor would succeed every time using Glitter World Medicine. However, Smokeleaf takes a 30% consciousness penalty. Christian's 70% consciousness is applied to a 70% success rate to get a final result of 49%. Even with Glitter World Medicine, he'll still only succeed 78% of the time. Various drugs have various effects on consciousness, so it's important to check before assigning a doctor to surgery. Make sure your pawns are assigned to use Glitter World Medicine before assigning them a surgery bill. Normally I leave my pawns on herbal medicine for day-to-day -day injuries, it works just fine. Bump them up to Glitter World medicine when assigning surgery, and then drop them back to herbal once the surgery is complete. Pawns will take damage from failed surgery, so if you can't guarantee success, it's a good idea to wait until a pawn recovers from any injury before assigning them an operation. The damage done from a failure is less likely to kill a healthy pawn. Finally, sterile tiles, although a large investment, can provide an additional 3% boost to surgery success rate. Considering the large investment required and relative effectiveness of Glitter World Medicine, it may not be worth the cost. However, many players feel these silver tiles put their hospital over the edge, so it might be something to consider during late game. Unfortunately, medical beds and vitals monitors do not affect surgery success rate in any way. While they do provide a boost to treatment quality, which is handy after a big fight, this is for bandaging injuries rather than performing surgery. This may be updated in future alphas. So remember, when it comes to surgery, always select your best doctor. Look at their success rate and make sure that they're sober. Use your best medicine, and if it's not Glitter World, do the math to make sure that you'll succeed. Make sure your patient is set up to use that medicine, but don't worry too much about giving them the best hospital. Combining these tips, even a level 5 doctor can succeed every time installing bionics without a hospital. Sure, it requires planning, patience, and micromanagement, but it will save you and your colony a lot of money and you, the player, a lot of aggravation. I hope these tips will help you prevent further unnecessary death in your operating room. If you have other ideas, I'd love to hear from you in the comment section down below. Be sure to like this video and subscribe. I post vanilla RimWorld Let's Plays daily on Cassandra Extreme and play other games on the side. I really appreciate you watching. See you again real soon.